As UGOR continues pursuing sustainable work practices, the Heritage Center team has identified a piece of hybrid equipment that will prove more energy and cost efficient in the field. Additionally, it offers enhanced safety features and so far, operator feedback has been positive. UCOR is hopeful that equipment such as this will become a part of its routine operations. Well, I've been uh, working with these electric equipment pieces, you know, what little bit that we can come up with. There's not a lot of stuff available and so I hooked up with some guys from Tire Equipment and one of our small vendors and uh, they had this machine available and asked if we was interested in demoing it. So uh, since it's electric in the swing and it has the, uh, the, uh, the electric part built into the swing, as it's swinging it's creating energy to send back to the machine and plus it's an electric motor so it's not making the engine work to do it therefore you're not burning no more fuel than you would be at an idle. The engine idle is about 700 RPMs less than normal. The reason I think it's amazing is because um, at times and I'm not uh, you know I'm not using this um, holistically but you get new technology and 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 um, you say, here's the new technology, try it and like it. But this piece of technology, um, it enhances production, it embodies sustainability, and the workers like it. In the manufacturer's description, one of the things that struck me the most was efficiency. Um, oftentimes these machines are just considered as the one trick pony of they are more sustainable or as in having lesser emissions. but with the instant power ability as well as the more efficient uh, swinging ability of this machine, it would equate into being able to load debris and move it off site quicker, which equates to a cost savings for the taxpayer as well as the enterprise. My background is in safety and health, and so I was standing next to someone else and I was saying, geez, you don't even have to have hearing protection because we can just talk in a normal tone and, and, and hear each other. I just really think it's great that it was a, a UCOR hourly employee that kind of carried the torch to push this initiative to fruition. And, you know, knowing from the sustainability and reindustrialization org as well as the enterprise org, they were supported in that effort and we were able to make it happen.